Hello, Pita Chow here. I'm very excited right now to announce that I am launching a new podcast. It's called The Peter Chow Show. What a name, right? My first guest will be Joe Ting and Trevor Lin, my co-stars on the Netflix original Wu Assassins. If you haven't watched it yet, hit up Netflix, watch it now. The full version of this podcast is available on Spotify or wherever you listen to podcasts. The video that you're about to watch is from that podcast and we talk about how we landed our roles on the Netflix original show. So the link is below in the description to download the podcast. Make sure if you enjoy listening to it to give it five stars. Enjoy. I gotta say, I'm super, super grateful that, you know, to be a part of the show, to be a part of something Mm. that means so much to the Asian community. Mm. But like, I have to say, I'm, and, and I kind of want, you know, I'm going to go through my audition process. Yeah. I'd mm. love for you guys to kind of share your oh, audition yeah. stories. Oh, yeah. Because when I walked into the room, literally there was like 40 other um, Asian looking dudes, people that looked exactly like me. And I feel that at the end of the day, I don't know what I can do to book something over, you know, I can't make them make a decision that. Because, like, I don't know what they want. Yeah, that's the scary part, right? Because you, you're literally competing with 40 to 100 other actors who look exactly the same like you. Exactly. And, and what makes you think that they're going to choose you over anyone else? And what are they looking for? The oomph factor. What is the oomph factor? Yeah, I mean, I feel like they, they probably cast me because I look like Lauren. <laughs> right? I think that's part of it. That's a big part of it. I mean, yeah. I feel like I would imagine that whoever went in for the role, yeah. I can imagine that they probably did pretty well. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm sure actors know exactly what they're going to do in the room yeah. and what their process is. Yeah. But at the end of the day, there's probably, like, at least out of 40 people, 10 to 15 people that did an adequate job. Right. Right? Yeah. But I went in there and I even flubbed a line. Did you? I did. Which I line did you line. flub? What did you say? can't remember, but it was one of those ones where I just completely blanked, and I was like, Ooh. I need to start over. So you must have felt, you must have walked out of there feeling like, oh, I botched it. Definitely botched it. Like, Oof. when I, like, I, I don't, I don't often, I try to, when I leave a room, I try not to, like, think about the audition that, yeah. I, that I did. Yeah, because yeah. that's a healthy way to do it. Because if I, I don't know, honestly, if I, if I just walk out, mm. uh, and I always overthink exactly yeah. what I've done. Yeah. Like, oh, how can I have done that better? How can I do this better? Mm. How do I get out of a room and go like, okay, I nailed it? Because I don't want to say I nailed it either because then yeah. I'll be like, oh, okay, great, I'm going to book it. But then when I don't, I'll just, yeah. all the pressure will be on myself. Mm-hmm. But but um, Jackie was there, Jackie Lynn, who casted the show. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jackie, for, uh, <laughs> for, uh, for <laughs> What was her me. response when, when you did your audition? Well, she's just, I mean, with everyone, it's just like, she's, she's just so nice. Everybody yeah. in the room is just so, so nice. Yeah. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, they're going to be the way that they are. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, like, how was, how was your process in terms of what you did? Do you want to go? <laughs> you um, go? I don't know. Joe can go. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe's a sp- No, Joe, Joe, go. Oh, man, I love you. Joe, go, go. <laughs> Joe, go. Well, since I've been put on the spot, I actually auditioned for Ying Yin. My oh, very what? first audition was. Oh for yeah, you told us that. You told yeah, us that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it wasn't for Young Jenny. Um, I, I actually went to my acting coach to to prepare for the audition for yeah, Ian, yeah, yeah. and I did like a whole preparation. Went in, and I I felt good. <laughs> <laughs> Only part that didn't feel good is when they asked, like, "Did you do you do any martial arts?" I'm like, "No, but I dance." <laughs> That's the same thing, right? <laughs> do you think that could have cost you? I think it did. Do you think so? But at the end, when I look back, I don't look like Union at all. No, no, you don't. No, you I don't. don't. You do, I, however, look like Jenny. I exactly. Yeah, exactly. So they called me back to do Jenny, and in the casting room, there was only about four other actresses mm-hmm, mm-hmm. going for Young Jenny. So there right. weren't. It wasn't like forty other Young Tommies, or anything. Like, right? It was just exactly. four. And I went in, did my thing, and I honestly did not feel like I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Because I read it, and it's it's a very like tomboyish right. you know character. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 Me. Although I have to no. say that your laugh is quite nice and deep. Yeah. You know, it's true. got a lot of bass to it. It it does. Know? It does. Because <laughs> <laughs> for a girly girl. I mean, hee hee. You know, exactly. It's got, it's got quite a boom to it. I like makeup, it. okay? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but, yeah, I just grabbed the chair and did. We actually had audition with the tattoo scene. Mm-hmm. And I just, it, it's a funny thing. When you go to an audition and you don't yeah. feel like you're going to get it, you're just kind of like, eh. 
Did I'll you just feel do that it. way? Like, what's the difference between when, like, when you go into a room and you feel like, oh, this would be something for me, versus I something went that into the room doing Indians audition, feeling like this is something for me. Okay. And it was like full oh. massive energy in the room. Like, I'm totally gonna get this job. <laughs> Whereas I went into the audition for um, for Young Jenny, yeah. really relaxed. It's like, ah. just went in, sat in a chair and be like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you had to be like propped up. You were getting yeah. a tattoo done. Yeah, and I didn't think I was going to get it. So I just walked out, bye, and never thought about it. <laughs> so did you go to like two separate auditions? Or I did. Or, okay. Yeah, it, like the Yin Yin one, Jackie was there. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And, okay. and I think Young Jenny, I don't remember her being there in the second one. Right. Yeah, so okay. I thought, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I look 17. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I appreciate it's quite it. Flattering. It's pretty flattering. It is. Because I kept on telling so. everyone that I'm 32 and I'm only like, yeah, two I was years. like, what? I can't believe you're 32. Isn't that crazy? And I play like a 17 year old. I mean, that's got to be the first of a first. Because here you have to think. Think about all the technology too. There's possibilities yeah. for people to de-age people. Yeah. You know, the new movie, The Irishman, where they de-age De Niro, they de-age Pacino. Yeah, they did. But they decided to actually go with young actors. I know. For mm-hmm. this, I so appreciate that. That gave me a job. So. That gave me a job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Trev? What was your audition experience? Was yeah. that your first audition or? When you first audition, like like ever? the first ever audition for film and TV, like oh no, that? I I've been I don't know in the industry for a little bit, really? like since I was like maybe starting grade eight. Whoa, okay. So about like four or five years. Yeah. But like I would never say that like I've been doing it like full time. Like I've always been in school. I've had a pretty good relationship with my agent, and my agent wanted me to be in school and okay. focus on school. Yeah. Uh, but for this audition process, you know, uh, I was in university. I was taking summer school. I had to call for it. I was pretty excited because an audition is an audition. Right. Mm-hmm. Especially exactly. when you have, like, a label to your part. So yeah. I don't really rem- exactly remember how I prepared for it specifically <laughs> because, <laughs> I don't know, I kind of feel like I take this every audition, like, the same process. You're like, this is just another day audition. No, no, I no, see Netflix like on the thing. I'm like, ah. <laughs> All right, I get it, Trev. You're financially stable. <laughs> uh, you don't go into any nope. audition with a heavy mind. Yeah, you're just so I just remember, like, chill. I you're had chill. like I had like exams that week or like the next week, so I was like that oh, was on my mind for sure. But no. I went in. I my perception of the character of Young Kai was like to be a really dark kid, right? Stuff like that. Yeah. So I went in like kind of like. Broody. They wanted you to be broody, or you perceive the script to be broody. Yeah, yeah. and like it's called Wu Assassins, and this and this. Yeah, I don't know. And then after, like, <laughs> <laughs> I went in, got on the character. Like even before I walked in, so I was like, I was acting all dark. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even being myself. You went full method. Yeah, I don't you know. You went full broody. I just <laughs> thought my perception <laughs> of the character was just like, yo, I just gotta like. Be a dark rebel kid because that's what the, the description damn, says. But honestly, damn. it was okay. like, and then after, like, Jackie's like, yo, loosen up, man. Like, <laughs> just like. I love that direction. <laughs> just tone it down, yeah. loosen up, yeah. just, just chill, dial it just back. Chill. And then, like, she, like, said to me, like, oh, I don't know if you know, but, like, you know, like, Jenny and Kyra supposed to have this little thing here. So, like, you know, just have some fun with it. You know, yeah. like, give it a little smile. And it's like, it, it's like, it was really hard for me to, like, <laughs> just to adjust to that. But I was Ten like, hours trying. ago, you're going full method and I'm trying to be m- really emo. And now you got to give a flirtatious smile. Yeah. So I did, like, <laughs> I don't know, like, a couple takes. That, that's how long it took me to get there. And I felt like I felt like I was doing a bad job. She's like, ah, you just, you know, chill, chill. chill. Oh, you just actually chill. did a couple of takes? Wow. Yeah. And, like, I got told, like, if you do a couple takes, that's kind of a good sign because they like yeah. want, they're willing to invest their time. They for really you. want you to be the one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and I guess I kind of look like Eco. So, that kind of You helped. look a lot like Eco. <laughs> and I do have a karate background. So, oh, oh wow. I, yeah. So, you didn't have to, well, I'm surprised you didn't lie because usually people who don't know Kung Fu, you're like, yeah, I'm just scared they're going to put me in front of somebody and I'm just like, ballet hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They just need to know that you can move. Yeah. You know? I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> just like give it a. <laughs> you, have your, you have your thumb inside your. Yeah, your, exactly. Your Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like for you guys to like get that call from your agent or whoever uh, called you? Oof. 
It was like such a. <laughs> it was a monumental. Yeah, moment yeah, for me yeah. It was like it almost like it doesn't settle in until you actually get the time to process and register what they're saying. Because mm-hmm. my agent actually doesn't call if it's let's just say for example a commercial because mm-hmm. commercial they they understand that you know we all look at it in a very simplistic way yeah uh a commercial is a commercial right it's, yeah. it's mm-hmm. a job yeah but yeah. like when you book something on tv and film you feel yeah. great about it yeah because exactly mm-hmm. you know exactly. like i i booked um zoe's uh, extraordinary playlist mm. you know a few mm. weeks ago mm-hmm. and i'm not even sure if i'm allowed to say that but i did <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. post production <laughs> we'll make yeah, it all work we'll make it all work but um, it just it's a good feeling when you when you get that call, you know, yeah. from your agent. But oh like yeah. it's it's so interesting because that's one of those auditions where I went in and I was like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm Yeah, you know? right. And then yeah. you leave for sort of the same way too. When you leave you're like, Yeah, that was a that was okay. Yeah. But then you get the call and you're like, Oh, I guess that was good enough. Yeah, you get like, Oh, huh. Yeah. You get the huh. But the ones feeling. but the ones that you actually like not put the most effort into because yeah. I have to say that like for all my auditions I've put yeah. a good amount of effort but yeah. that doesn't have anything to do with how I feel. But the ones that you mm-hmm. really yeah. want yes. that you really feel like you you really fit in. Yeah. Yeah. Those are that, the ones those are the that. ones that I sometimes I, d- I don't get. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Why did I get that? And yeah, like, exactly. You overthink it and you think about it constantly. Cuz you can think like, you did like a great audition but like it's not up to you at the end of the day. So yeah. That's the thing. I, I feel like there's so much, uh, there's such a big element of not being able to control certain elements of what they're looking yeah, for. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You just have to go in, le- and for all aspiring actors out there that are watching this, yeah. it's like you go out there, you put the best of, of you mm-hmm. in the room, mm-hmm. and you have to leave with a little bit of sanity. Right. Mm-hmm. And then the rest isn't up to you. And that's what right. I started becoming a little bit more of a healthier actor yeah. after I found out that, hey, I, there's a lot of things that I can't control. Because you really mm-hmm. go down a rabbit hole if you start thinking about it, right? Yeah. It starts mm-hmm. g- going to your identity as well. It's like, am I meant to do this? Do I just really suck, to be honest? Yeah. Like, I just don't know. I feel that way. And yeah. it, 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 you really have that kind of, I, I call it the actor's breakdown. Every actor's couple breakdown. of weeks, you go like, oh, why am I not booking anything? I <laughs> exactly. went to like 10 of these and none of them called me back. And this, it's, it gets really nerve wracking, to be honest. Yeah, well, it gets yeah. an emotion. Like, Trev's like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's okay, I got money in the bank. <laughs> uh, my parents have money. <laughs> no, that's what I'm trying not to be. But I don't know. I'm just joking, man. Yeah. But like yeah. you, you, um, I, I I only started taking acting classes recently because mm. I really wanted to kind of. Ooh, I, how was that? Yeah, you know, it's it's good actually because yeah. I've learned uh, a lot of things that I do in the room that I shouldn't be doing. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I used to move my hands a lot. I used to do this like when I'm talking, like I'm rapping. Yeah. Like as soon as like for some <laughs> reason like when I you don't notice it when you do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You don't. You need someone to tell you not to do it before yeah. you stop doing it. Yeah. Because I would go into rooms and I would move my hands like um, based on what I'm saying, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's just it's it, it's one of those things that I've practiced in school yeah. in which they essentially say that if, if you're going to do that, you might as well just not move at all. Yeah. And you have to practice the idea of stillness. The weird thing is also when you, it's kind of like your condition when you're moving, you're mm-hmm. also s- be able to think and talk at the same time. And when you stop moving, all of a sudden it's like, oh, my mind is blank. Yeah, and then, and then right? that, that's where the lines go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some yeah. reason, I'm using my hands to gesture yeah. or, or to give me cues on what the line is. Yeah. And it just, it fucks up the performance. Okay, it great. Does. You Okay, great. You, you, you understand, like, okay, those are my lines. You mm. get it out. Mm. But then you lose the, the essence of you the performance. You do. Mm-hmm. do. It fucks you up. It does. Yeah. And it fucks with me, too, because when I get in there, I'm like, okay, I've been practicing this whole time <laughs> doing the scene, moving my hands. Yeah. And then as soon as I stop, that's exactly what you said. Yeah. It's I like, ding. Uh, uh, my uh, lines, my lines, my lines. Yeah. 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 Exactly. But what do you, what do you think, what, Trev? What what are the, what are some like the hardest things that you? Yeah. Feel? Do you have a habit that you have that yeah. you've been told to stop or? Um, I think it's just like what you guys kind of just mentioned and reiterating like the aftermath. Yeah. Of. Mm. You're hard on yourself. You're hard okay. on yourself. Well, I think. Well, I don't know. I feel like all actors to a certain degree are. Because, yeah. I mean, like, I'm sure you walk out of that room and you're like, oh, man, I killed it. Or maybe, yeah. like, oh, man, I wish I did this something better. Or, or if you don't get that call and you're like, oh, man, I really should have yeah. done this. Yeah. 
It's yeah. because I yeah. did this that I didn't get that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And, and like the agents always tell yeah. you, go into the room, do your thing, come out, and have fun. Yeah. And most like, have fun. Easy for you to say, have fun. You go have fun in there. I have like three, four people staring at me doing the thing, and then I fuck up. And then it's just like, have fun. Woo! That's why I think that actors are actually the some of the craziest people yeah. in the world oh because my gosh, yes. they're putting themselves through this immense amount of self torture yeah. and self torment yeah. and emotionally it's like uh, uh you know you go through hundreds of auditions and you maybe book one thing yeah mm-hmm. um, you literally go into a room and you say judge me Mm-hmm. See yeah, if you like me. Liners. Please like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Today yeah. I had an audition in which I didn't say anything. Like uh-huh. it was a non-speaking role. Oh and gosh. I was an intern. I go in and I just do this to the person who's coming <laughs> in for interviewing for the job. <laughs> And I think they like. I'm like at some point. I'm just thinking to myself, why do they audition these specific roles? Why don't right? they just give it to someone that they know that they like? Yeah, like, yeah. like hey George, like, come <laughs> over here. You know, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah if they yeah. like me, just give me the role. Why do I? You know, <laughs> I, sound like, <laughs> I sound really entitled right now. But when I went in, yeah. um, uh, the reader was like, you know what? Like almost as he he was kind of giving me like you know like a uh, like a freebie. Yeah. He came up to me and I was like, we're gonna give you a line. <gasps> I was like, oh, dun, great. Dun, dun. <laughs> We're gonna give a, you line. a line. Yeah. You okay. are going to make me and speak? He, <laughs> and then he was like really serious and he was like, get this. <laughs> All right. After this person says this, you're going to say, right this way. <laughs> right? I'm going to be in Hold tears. <laughs> right? right this way. Oh. And I was like, oh, my God, thank you so much for giving me this line. Did you say that? No. 